Right now, um, that's it. Engine fully assembled, all the valve timing done. Um, everything more or less back together again. I've still got the end cap to put in here. Just put my tool that I made. Um, that's what I use. That's what I use for that is I have a washer with a nut welded to the washer. Yeah. Um, and I've cut a slot in the water washer and bent a tab down. That fits into the hole. Like so. And then you bolt her up. And then you turn it via the 17mm hex on the nut that's welded to the washer. So that's how I rotate the engine when I'm checking that I've got the valve timing right and so on and so forth. So it's had a couple of revolutions, valve timing's remaining in line, every tune tensioner's all done. So it's looking quite well. I mean, it's, it's, it's a strange kind of colour from, in some respects for an engine, but it's nice and easy to keep clean. And it's um, smooth surface. I won't forget to fit the starter motor before I put the engine in the frame. I've done that once. I'll never do it again. You cannot fit the starter motor to this engine or remove it with the engine in the frame. It's not possible. So, be warned. <laughs> there you are. So, is it? so that specialist tool along with it, here's my valve spring compressors look. That I used, uh, not valve, uh, my um, piston ring compressors that I used. Um, for the pistons. So I'm quite pleased with the progress now. Apparently my forks are getting posted today so hopefully I'll have them within a week or so and uh, then start the assembly job with the whole bike. But the engine should be a winner now and shouldn't I? I'm fairly confident there's nothing could possibly be wrong with it now. I'll we'll just have to see mind you. That's it. Do, 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 do. Right. Plenty of other things to do if I'm not Thank working that engine. Cheers! Plenty of other things to be doing if I'm not doing that one. Loads of other work.